Hello everyone, today we will talk about transiting Mars. Transiting Mars passes through the 10th house. How transiting Mars will behave in the 10th house depends on the position of the 10th house. This transit may be more prominent in your life if you already have planets in the 10th house or aspects to the owner of the 10th house. But the basics are as follows. This transit encourages your ambition and desire to be recognized for your achievements. You are ambitious, you seek power through your career, you have a strong motivation to achieve career goals and personal recognition for your efforts, and your competitive energy is high. Whether it is a business or personal issue, you have an increased desire to be noticed by others. You will invest more energy in your recognition and encourage your professional ambitions which will lead to very dynamic professional actions. So when transiting Mars is in your 10th house, you're simply driven to succeed, and your long-term goals will be alive and kicking in your mind. All of these will involve a battle for the top position, a position where ego clashes arise, especially with those in power or those who hold power or provide some career support. Some will just find themselves rethinking the path they've taken, to achieve a goal or to improve it. In any case, you will actively approach all the challenges in front of you and taking the initiative in your presentation of the initiative that you have refrained from until now is exactly what you should do. If Mars creates difficult aspects, be careful not to have too much of a dictatorial attitude, as self-criticism will lead to conflicts in professional and business matters. Try to control or moderate your ambitions, especially if they are related to the public. Your urge to act and work with things is so strong that you tend to rush and try to impose your will in situations where waiting is necessary. But no matter how much success you have, it is not enough, there is always something more you can do. You will want your contribution to be noticed and praised, and if it is not, you will feel slighted, although it is very likely that you will have to make a lot of physical effort in connection with recognition during this period. The sign Mars is in during this transit has a lot to do with how this energy will be expressed. So, for example, people who are under the sign of Virgo will have the most problems and make the most efforts. They will need autonomy and independence in the profession, because everything else will come down to conflicts rather than constructive progress. This is a good time for self-employment or starting a business if other factors, including Mars itself, are favorable. So start thinking about your ambitions and try to find ways to achieve your goals. A moment like this, where you can see different possibilities in your career, is possible every 2.5 years. The energy is strong and you are starting to see the possibilities of starting a business, or at least guessing what kind of work interests you. When the energy is released, you start thinking about changing your profession and starting your own business. That energy of yours is at the top and nothing seems impossible. Invest it in just promotion or business slash career activities. But be careful, because they say that Mars is the planet of ego impulses and that he feels very comfortable in this house, where the ego comes to its highest expression. And when your ego is very active, be careful that it doesn't blindly lead you to unyielding behavior. To pedantic behavior, criticizing and selfishness which leads to conflicts and unnecessary discussions. Conflicts with those in power will start to annoy you more than ever. Remember, you are valuable and can make realistic plans to get what you want. Try to focus your presentation more on something else, which may be good for your career, but probably bad for everything else. What creates a certain euphoria is very positive, in the initiative of action, conquest, it is done mainly on social and material aspects. And you fight with only one goal, to win. Your ego will also give you a strong desire for recognition. And if you feel that way, be sure to remember that if you do something worthwhile, and do it well, it will always get noticed eventually. The more you achieve and the more people notice, the more confident you feel.